Welcome, over guys, back to our brand new lesson of a show, Loading Us will Say, and tonight it is a brand new lesson section of a unit 9. And tonight we're going to learn about grammar, 9b. We're going to learn about have something done. And as you may watch previous seconds ago, I have just danced in a new way, yay, new way to get to the entrance of a show and it is quite impressive, yeah, to me it is quite impressive because we may change a lot since this moment, yeah, and it is one month left, one month left until Christmas and Christmas is coming, you can feel the Christmas mood is all, is coming to us right now and have you prepared anything yet for me? Um, just do the show. Yeah. And maybe at that moment, I am preparing for the, the award. Uh, I'm going to do later on December in December. And I hope you watch. Hope you guys will watch. And tonight, now, we're going to learn it as the Unit 9B Grammar Have Something Done. And let's now go to the exercise number 1 on page number 85. Okay, so we're going to start right now. Look at the exercise number one where they tell us to do. Compare the two photos of Heidi Montag below. What has changed about her appearance? Alright, so let's look at a photo right over there. Botox Beauty. Alright, so on the left is her previous look. Her old look. And on the right, it is her present look means now. That is her phrase, right now. So, what has changed to her appearance? So, as you can see through the photo, uh, her hair, a little bit wider, yeah, and her face also whitened, and her uh, eyes, let me get that correctly, her eyes, her, yeah, something like that, uh, her skin, yeah, of course her skin change more than usual, yeah. So sometimes people need changes, but depends, don't change too much, because nature, mother of nature, gives us the whole beauty, alright? But sometimes we have to admit that we have to change it, but just when we need, not too much, alright? Just... In a need, do it, but not too much, alright? So now, let's go. Alright, so let's go to the exercise number two. There, read a text. Why do you think Heidi, think Heidi Montag changed her appearance? So why do he, do, does she change it? Let's read about a short paragraph about that. Heidi Montag is probably more famous for plastic surgery that she has had carried out uh, for than for her TV career. Before she was 21, she had her nose altered. Altered. Her lips made fatter and her breasts enlarged. Wow. And now, the 23-year-old star of the hills has admitted to having 10 plastic surgery procedures procedures in one day she had work done uh, she had work done on almost every part of her body Heidi says she feels better and more confident but many people think this it is sad that she wanted to change her appearance at all so why does she change her appearance like they, uh, like the text have said over there, and she also said that uh, she feels better when she changes it. 
Yeah. She changes that. Her, uh, that makes she feel more confident. Uh, but some people f feel sad about that because she changed a lot. Ten times. And now, 23 year old, uh, this book, uh, printed in 2012. Uh, so they, she, she may now, uh, uh, where is she, she, um, five years later, and she must be 28, so I still not have pictures of her, uh, at her age right now at this year, but we can see that, uh, they, she have changed a lot, but, that is just plastic surgery. Yeah, sometimes you know that plastic things they may get uh like what I said uh it is uh when they get worse. Yeah, they they they, they pop out of your face and <laughs> things like blood, your skin will get even worse than your first look. Yeah. Your eyes, your hair, uh, may, you may lose your hair, may, uh, a lot of things. So don't change too much. Of course, I say that a woman, uh, always, uh, woman always want to make them look cool, alright? So, let they do it, but not too much, alright? Either men us also want to do something to make us look more attractive, but advice for you, not too much, little, or enough, not too much, because things may got worse at an exact time. Yeah, maybe. So that is why she changed herself, her appearance. So let's take a look, a read through the learn this box in the page of 85. And we have here. <clears throat> have something done. First one, you can use the structure of have plus object plus past participle. To say that you arranged for somebody to do something for you. You didn't do it yourself. Means somebody do it for you. Example like he had his hair cut. He had his new car delivered to his house. So somebody do that action. Yeah, not them. Somebody do it. Not the people. Like he had his hair cut. That doesn't mean he cut his, he used the scissor to cut his own hair. He must have somebody to cut his hair. So, it is an action that has been done by another one, another body. Person, yeah. Also, the second example, I, he had his new car delivered to his house. So, some person has delivered his car. So that is not his job. His job is to sit there and wait and somebody has his car come here. So that is someone's job. So someone's action, you use have plus object plus past participle to say that you arrange for somebody to do something for you. Alright. Second thing, you can also use the structure of unpleasant things that have happened to you. I had my bag stolen yesterday. So we can also use this structure to s express the unpleasant things that happen to us. Example like someone, uh, may, I may call I as he, uh, he had his bag stolen yesterday means he lost his bag and it is, it was stolen by somebody anonymously stole. We'll be right back with the next part of the show. I'm going to explain to you more careful about this second uh, point of the structure have something done.